Welcome to another episode of Low Budget Shooting. Uh, this one is by um, <clears throat> by viewer request. Uh, Alan Cox uh, sent me a comment on the Bushmaster uh, arm pistol, which has had a tremendous amount of reviews, and I thank you very much for that. Um, he wanted to know how to take this gun apart, um, how it how it looked. I haven't cleaned it since that video. And so I figured now would be a good time to break it down. Uh, I do understand that a lot of the parts internally on it are um, uh, supposed to be like an AR-15. Uh, so anyways, let's just get right to it. I'm going to move the camera so you can look over my shoulder. Uh, first thing I want to do is uh, take the magazine out and make sure the gun is clear. And uh, Triggers down, and there we go. So let me move this over, and let's get tearing it down. I haven't even taken it apart yet, so we'll just see what happens. How does that look? Okay, we look good. Okay, so um, one thing I didn't mention in the other video, um, these guns uh, did use AR-15 parts, um, and in uh, the flash suppressors or, or, uh, were, were part of it. Uh, this particular one was only used in the second model. Uh, the longer one. Uh, the rest of them were the regular bird cage, um, <coughs> uh, you know, like you see on a standard AR-15. Uh, I believe they were the A1 style where they had the holes all the way around it and not the A2 style. Uh, although I don't have one of those guns to look at right now, so I don't know. So I'll take that off. That has to come off in order to get the strap off. This comes off. Now, I don't know how far I'm going to tear this thing down. Anyways, I took that off. It, the gun does need... A cleaning and let's get the strap off there we go there we go there we go and then the pins come out just like on a regular AR-15 I know this much so I pull that off and then this assembly comes off okay so there you are here here's the uh, um, hammer on it it's definitely a standard uh, AR hammer um, and it's the same mechanism. It's even got the two pins. If I was to guess, they're probably in the same position as a regular AR. Uh, this is an interesting little rubber buffer part. Um, so how does the trigger work? So this bolt comes back, pushes your hammer back, and uh, and there's a little lever right here. And let's see okay so in the gun I don't know if you can see this uh, right here this thing moves back and forth when you pull it it's got a little hook on it you can see it's pulling my finger that more than likely hooks on this pulls this forward and your hammer comes forward so that's an interesting little device that would uh, explain the atrocious trigger pull that I was feeling uh, the other day when I was shooting that. Actually, this looks pretty clean inside. Um, I didn't mention this, but the person, uh, this came from the estate of a person by the name of Paul Mainz, who um, was, uh, I believe he was an attorney um, in the Illinois area. Um, you can look his name up on the website. He passed away, and this uh, went up in an auction. Uh, so I like to mention the people that... Uh, passed on and the guns that I acquired from them because I, I think it's important to remember them even if you don't know them. So the next part is is getting the bolt out of here uh, and it looks to me like there's two allen screws up here and if I unscrew those I bet you the whole bolt mechanism drops straight out the bottom and hopefully a bunch of springs won't be coming out of here when I do this so there's one yes it feels like it's moving and there's two and all right slides out the back <laughs> how interesting okay so it is it is an AR-15 style bolt and it even has the AR-15 style cam, which you can see this one is is kind of uh, uh, messed up a little bit. It's jacked up like it got bent. So that means something in the gun is not 
um, I don't know, precision made. And then the inside of it, let's see, I got a pick right here. It has a, uh, um, it has a pin in it, just like on an AR-15. A little cotter pin, and then that would allow this firing pin to come out. And it's actually looking pretty clean. And then this you would pull forward and pull that out just like an AR-15 and then pull that out and guess what it is. It is exactly an AR-15 part. So, so far everything I've read is, is correct. And now let's see what goes on even more. In, internally, uh, inside here, it's got the same kind of lugs as an AR-15 too. I don't know if you can see that. And um, I didn't mention this in the um, in the video, but this is like the second or third um, uh, design of a bullpup. I, it's my understanding that the English tried doing one in the early 1900s, and it was never really super successful. Uh, and then uh, this one this one came out right here, and uh, and it was it was really the beginning of the modern. Okay, there's a little bit more. So I took out the uh, pins on the end of it here, and then uh, this piece slides off. Now you don't have to do this. I noticed I, I took it off because you can tell the gun's dirty. I'm going to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, but really you don't have to pull this end piece off to get this taken apart. What you just do is you just push in. There is a little uh, notch. Uh, right here on this piece you just push this in a little bit it's a little got a little spring on it and then the, once you push that in you pull this piece off and then what would happen is then you can take this whole tube this little plate slides out of the back and then this whole gas piston assembly would slide out and uh, it's a it's a little bit dirty you can see on the end but since I took this all apart I I actually took this piece off the tube the gas tube and also the end right here and there's a little hole in the barrel which um, there's a hole in here which lets the gas come out to push the piston back uh, I haven't pulled this apart because this piece right here the, the spring, the trigger mechanism, there's a spring that's right here in the back. Uh, I don't know how the heck they connected that thing in here because you can see it running all the way down in here. So if I wanted to pull the whole entire barrel out of here, the barrel actually screws into the back uh, receiver mechanism. Um, I would have to, I could probably knock those two pins out and then figure out how to disconnect this spring. Um, but I'm not going to do that. It doesn't need to be torn down that far. I can drop the whole entire thing in my ultrasonic cleaner um, and it'll, it'll fit. <clears throat> so, there. There's the finished gun back together. I did notice uh, one thing. <laughs> in the uh, shooting video when I was talking about how they didn't take into consideration that you could uh, um, aim from this side, I found out that you can take this off and then you just flip this back plate around and then that notch will be on that side. So if you were left-handed, um, you could uh, change it for a left-hander. Anyways, thanks for watching. 
uh, put any comments down below I will try to answer them um, uh, the channel's just a baby right now so I can get to most of the uh, uh, the comments uh, thanks again um, oh, let me move this back up so you can see me thanks again for watching and uh, uh, I have a Facebook page low budget shooting you can uh, uh, subscribe to that too and I'll give updates but the next thing I'll be doing is a 308 day and I've got three 308 rifles that I'll be shooting that cover a bunch of different eras uh, that you can see so Thanks for watching.